by installing the battery into the glucose monitor. Open the battery compartment given at the back of the meter and place the battery with plus symbol facing up. Now, activate the settings mode of the glucose monitor by pressing the M button for 3 seconds. Upon activation, the screen will show set with the month blinking. Press the C button to scroll through and choose the right month. Press the M button to set the selected month and to move the date setting. Repeat the same steps to set the date, time and year. Press the M button for 3 seconds again to turn off the monitor. To set up the Lansing device, unscrew and open it. Then insert a fresh lancet firmly into it. Twist and remove the cap of the lancet to expose the needle. Keep the cap aside. Do not throw it. Close the lancing device. Adjust the pricking depth according to skin thickness. Hold the tip of the lancing device firmly in one hand and pull out the sliding barrel with the other hand to load the device. Now, insert a test strip into the monitor's strip slot with the white arrow pointing towards the monitor and facing upwards. The monitor will turn on automatically and a flashing blood symbol will appear on the screen. The device is now ready for measurement. Use the lancing device to obtain a blood drop by pressing the release button against the side of the finger. Touch the sample channel on the test strip to the blood drop. The blood will be drawn into the strip automatically. The monitor will count down from 5 to 1 and will display the test result. After completion of the test, Remove the used lancet from the lancing device, push its needle into the lancet cap so that it does not harm anyone and then discard the lancet along the used strip. If ER1 appears on the screen, it means the test strip is either used or damaged. Replace the test strip with a new test strip. If ER2 appears, it means the blood sample was applied to the test strip before the blood symbol appeared on the screen. Use a fresh strip and apply the blood sample after the blood symbol appears. If ER3 message appears on the screen, it implies that the temperature of the glucometer is too hot or too cold for it to work properly. The operating temperature should be from 10 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius. Let the temperature of the monitor stabilize for 20 minutes and then use it. If ER4 appears, it means that the blood sample did not fill enough before measurement. Repeat the test with a new strip and apply blood sample properly.